Hello all, on Sunday the 16th of May. What have you got in your hand? That's a question that's been um, commented upon in various sermons and um, obviously spoken about in, in the Bible. So what is it that you have in your hand? And then obviously more importantly, are you actually using it? It's one of the most important questions that we can be asked. You know, everyone possesses something, I've put. Everyone possesses something that God wants to use. And use in this very hour that we find ourselves in now. And this is something that we're always trying to encourage the students at school. You know... A few weeks ago, I I posted something or reposted something on Facebook, you know, about this little little girl who couldn't sit still. And the teachers didn't like this. She was always getting trouble. And then an experienced teacher came back into school, I think it went on to say. And the experienced teacher said, she observed her. Did she just want to dance? And obviously, dance she did. So her destiny was that she was destined to be um, a ballerina and an extremely good one at that. So all our all our children, they're all gifted with something. And likewise, we're all God's children, God's sons and daughters, and we've been gifted with different gifts to use for him, for his glory. And so it's just awesome. Where did this come from? Exodus 4 verse 2. The Lord asked Moses that question. What's in your hand? And that that was in Moses' hand was a rod. A staff, a stick, a rod, a wooden implement. And God said, throw it down. And it turned into a snake. Pick it up. It turned back into a rod. And it's commented upon that that was then, it became known as like the rod of truth. Because it was used again later to separate the waters of the Red Sea. You can read about this particular encounter in Exodus 14. Verses 15 to 17 and 21 to 23. So Moses really, he did as the Lord had asked. And he was a willing vessel, a willing vessel to be used. And I love that. It's our willingness. You know, it gifts gifts us all with these talents, abilities. And we need to be willing to use them. Not for our own gain, our own pleasure our own self-reward, and nothing, or used in pride, nothing like that. It's to be used in humility, to be used for the glory of God. And in Ecclesiastes 9, chapter 9, verse 10, and this is something that, again, I've always held dear to, whatever you your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. And I know that was something that my mum and dad instilled in in me. Don't do anything half-hearted. Do it with everything that you've got. Put your whole being into it. Then you'll be satisfied with what you've done because you know you've done your best. You couldn't possibly have done any better. But more importantly, in the spiritual sense, when you give your all to God in those talents and abilities... It's, it's he that produces the, the outcome of that. Like the amazing, extraordinary things that happen with that, with Moses' staff. And then what happened when he, you know, the Red Sea, part of the Red Sea, water from a rock. It's just awesome. So we do need to use whatever we have been given every moment that we can. You know, and... What we feel, it's like we need to, what we feel is that that he's given us, that he's imparted to us. 
you know, it's it's something to us. It's been it's something that he has given us. He has developed in us. You know, and and <laughs> it's not something of ourselves. Two Corinthians four verse seven. But we have this treasure in earthen vessel, vessels that the excellency of the power of God, that the of the the excellency may be of God and not of us to do that work that God sent us. We just need to let God touch our hearts and then then use what's been given. He knew he knew these he knew these things. He knows these things. He knows the questions that he poses to us. It's like God asked the question. And God actually asked the question. It was for our benefit. You know, not 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 for not, not for God. God already knew what had what he had placed in the hand of Moses he already knows what he has pla- I can't say it what he has placed in the hand of his servants he already knows and then just like when he said throw it down you know when we give it to him and we throw it down when we 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 place it in his hand what happens comes alive you know that 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 he's placed in us that that, that is the seed in us when we do that it, it comes alive it's like when moses said yes when he said god said throw it down he threw it down and then that's when it became that rod to be used for god in those extraordinary circumstances later on. So, this day, in our prophetic prayers, the gifts that is placed in each and every one of us, let's pray into those giftings. Give them over to, to him. Because what happens is, Jesus makes the things come alive. The treasures in us, they come alive. So let's pray, let's prophesy into our church families, communities, natural families, you know. Train a child in the way they will go and they will not depart from it. Observe what is their gifting, like that little ballet dancer. She couldn't sit still. So let's pray into these situations, circumstances. It's the Lord that knits together the destinies of his people. Amen.